reality. You're I'm not Stuart, it. in case you haven't worked it out. Hi, <laughs> 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 um, I'm Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Hello. I'm Stefan. I'm Stefan. Hello, everybody. Hello, team. So, we had this crazy idea after DrupalCon in Prague, oh, yeah. where I tweeted saying, I quite fancy cycling to Amsterdam, for DrupalCon Amsterdam. And this is where this kind of idea of Todd Drupal came from. And then go on to the, the video. Amsterdam. Hopefully, it should just start. Oh, it did before. Where's the <laughs> this is their video. Well, this is an app, a, a minute and a half, I don't have to talk. <laughs> Amsterdam really is a city of bicycles. It, it's crazy there, and I'm, it's an amazing place. And it's not just the city, it's the whole place. Uh, between the Hook of Holland and Amsterdam, it's like a thousand cycle routes. It's kind of crazy. Wonderful place. So we had this idea about going there, and how we could make that happen. Um, so we came up with this idea of a bit of a tour, um, starting in various places in the UK. Making sure we all hit the Harwich Hook of Holland ferry on the Saturday night prior to Drupal Con and going overnight, get the next morning, a nice little slow cycle through from the Hook of Holland to the venue for Sunday and then enjoying Drupal Con because Drupal Con is just an amazing thing. Uh, can I just hook in oh, for that? Yeah, sorry. Um, I mean, I started, um, I set up, I mean, there was a conversation on Twitter going on, and all of a sudden I noticed that not only you have only 140 characters, and all the people that were interested didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, we need to do something with that. So I started, set up the two of the Drupal Twitter account. Yeah. And then after that, reasonably soon after that, I also made a Drupal Gardens website just to kind of try and funnel the interest of the people um, that are interested in cycling. And that was quite interesting. Um, I've got a list here. I'll just um, very, read out. Very busy. Right? I'll just read out some, um, some comments. Well, people, a lot of people say, well, how, what about luggage and things like that? But the interesting thing is, I mean, initially the idea was to, or still is, um, to cycle from the UK to Amsterdam. But having this site, um, let's just see, we have people from even somebody from Amsterdam was to um, come and join us after the ferry, uh, London, um, Paris, Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> if he does that, that's, that's impressive. impressive. Yeah. Yeah. That's He's setting off tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and even from Munich. Um, so, yeah, I think this is all about figuring out um, how we are going to, how much we want to organise it. And I think this is, um, we've talked about it before, or we've talked about it a bit, and come up with a couple of pointers, kind of coming from the comments that people have made, and what we've been thinking about. 
have been a really lovely dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah off. It's not this way, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so this is a basic overall idea of what we're trying to do. So, certainly in the UK, because obviously people can come from anywhere, I think everyone here is from the UK though, aren't you? Is it a mainly northern chapter at the moment? Southwest. Well, Holland originally. Wow, southeast. <laughs> <laughs> right I mean, you can you, you can direct when we get there. Uh, <laughs> I doubt it. I'm like on the wrong side of the road now. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the idea is to have one or more starting points, depending, and it's largely up to you as to how we do this. And we really want to get an idea of locations of those that are interested. Where's Harwich? Harwich is Suffolk, or is it Essex? In a moment, I'm going to I'm going to link you to a Google Map in a moment for you to give us an idea of where you are, and I've I, marked the port. I still think everyone should go to North Shields instead. Yeah. Is that shorter? <laughs> it's it's longer bike ride for everyone else, yeah. apart from us, <laughs> <laughs> and a shorter ferry ride. So. Okay. Anyway, anyway oh, but that that is. Ferry. I mean, this is literally. The hook of horror, the Harris hook of Holland was literally because I was looking and I initially I was just thinking, oh well I'm gonna ride. That's where I would ride to. Yeah. Because I live in North Norfolk. So it's a good ferry as well though. I took yeah. it this year to Orange Frog. Oh okay. It was about three hour forty minutes. I did the overnight one, so it was a bit longer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we you, you could get like really nice little beds and Yeah, but you can actually get a bit of sleep and stuff and actually chill out. Yeah. It was it was worth it. It was really cheap as well. Like, ah, bonus. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. So, cover is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the shop is very expensive. <laughs> then the idea, finish in Amsterdam, including, basically make sure that everybody who is doing it does that particular leg, from Hook of Holland to Amsterdam, which is kind of like nice cycle paths along the coast, all at the same time, because we could end it with quite a few people, which would be really quite nice. Uh, so that's basically what we were originally thinking, and then really what we wanted to do is put questions to you about what you think and how that works with you. So, yep. I'm trying to remember what's next. There was a couple of kind of principles that we oh. wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. It's a friendly ride to DrupalCon, this is not a race. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Could you race if you want? Yeah, well, actually, that's what I was going to say here. Well, if you want to start later and catch up, <laughs> then you can turn it into a race. What we'd like you to do is... contribute to the core. Or, yeah. Or, <laughs> yeah, so what we want to do is get the core right. If you want to add riding down from Edinburgh to, to a starting point, in some crazy amount of time, uh, two hours to Manchester or something ridiculous, <laughs> then... Two hours? Yeah. <laughs> on the train. <laughs> on the train. I did say ridiculous. Can't even do it on the train. <laughs> <laughs> then, I am not going to stop you. Yeah? If you were to get your fab uh, Pinarello racing bike and ride like a loon all the way down, fine. But the bit that will work, that the main core of it is going to be friendly ride, there, taking our time, not trying to do miles and miles and miles every day, uh, just enough, so that everyone can ride those bits. Yeah? Uh, we want to do a little bit opportunities for training, etc. Yeah, beforehand. Well, while we riding. Want... Hmm? While riding. With iPads and. No, I've been <laughs> training for the bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, mate. Right? <laughs> little projector on the back of a van. When we want face, when we want it now. Exactly, yeah. I like that. So, that's what we were thinking. I, I'm really keen to do something that everybody, certainly everybody in this room, would be able to take part in. Yeah? How many miles a day are you thinking? Well, kind of, if you got all day, you'd be surprised you could do 50 or 60 miles in a day and it'd actually be okay. Yeah? So not, I mean, there's people looking up and going, oh my god. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Holland? 
Google reckons it's four and a half hours on a bike. Yeah. From where? From Hooker Pollen to Amsterdam. Yeah. Just generic Amsterdam. Yeah. 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 Was it about 80 kilometres? That's a yeah. 40 miles. It's, it's worth thinking because it's sort of, kilometers. for the vast majority of Europe, apart from Britain, like the Hook of Holland is not the first place you're going to arrive. But you can do it that when people do arrive, they That's can they hire go. a bike at the Hook of Holland. Like when, if they yeah. fly in Amsterdam, they can hire a bike there. And exactly. Anyway. Yeah. So basically, Join us it, and like do it. it's a no, it, it's a place you can go where you're not going to be on main roads. There's lots of cycle location, uh, cycle paths yeah. and stuff between those two places, between Rotterdam and, and Amsterdam. So it works out really quite relaxed. Not you're not having to think about major roads and, and so on. Do you get one of those hats with beers and straws? <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about doing it on the Brompton in tweets. Seriously, I'm not going to take this seriously. Let's get Drupal Lycra. <laughs> well, actually, yes, yes, if, we on, yeah, if, we, if we move on, then we got onto some of the kind of questions that we needed to think about. Um, we don't want to do this where we're taking all of our gear, because I can already get so much gear on there, and I usually take loads of stuff to DrupalCon, usually a great big bag. Yeah. So... We don't just want cyclists for this. We want van drivers. Yeah? We want uh, people to help us when we get to Amsterdam. We want uh, someone to help with making sure that we can do something good with this. We don't know what yet. Uh, we'll work that out. Yeah. That could be useful. We want... I had this crazy, weird idea of something that's reusable across other Drupal cons and other Drupal events as well, where we could use people's tweets and the locations of tweets uh, with a particular hashtag yeah. to show people on a live Google map all tracking back down towards the Drupal con, some sort of Drupal wacky races type thing. That's a hashtag with, right there. Yeah, with with. Um, I don't know, Nick LP going around in circles or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to kill me when he sees it. Um, but no one's getting tweeted. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, some help with that would be really cool. So there's more to it than just getting on a bike in September and riding to Amsterdam. Uh, there's lots of other little bits as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of... Um we, we spoke about this is to um, to have to kind of facilitate with this and have the site and obviously the Twitter, but especially the site maybe set out. You mentioned it in, in, in the slide before several starting points, but basically maybe the site can facilitate and say, okay, um, there is Amsterdam, and there's a route from I don't know the, from the northwest to um, to um, Paris, to Poland, and then I don't know Munich or Paris. Kind of put it all on the map and say, okay, people maybe can sign up. Say, okay, join this group or something like that, and then keep track of their progress on the live or semi-live map. I think that'd be good. But it's just organising it really. How far do we need to go, and how far can we go? Because um, when I started tweeting about, it, I started following the, um, the GB, was it cycling embassy or something like that? Several other ones. And speaking to other people, and I noticed that as soon as you, and I don't know all about it, and I hope some of you do, um, as soon as you start to do something as an organized group, you need to actually register yourself, and insurance and all that. So the questions here? I've got on here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <coughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 Insurance and all of that. <laughs> Can you tell I did the Oh, routes. Yeah. Um, branded clothing, that's um, already mentioned, which is great. Sorry? Micros. Sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> what colour? Pink? Blue. Blue, yeah. Okay. Maybe we can do it in a... Kind or of red, white and black, like eight, the, uh, um, Amsterdam. Sorry? Red, white and black, like the Amsterdam... Uh, or just red, white and black, people know where we're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that really cannot look like wrong. Um, yeah, accommodation. Um, and this is, um, I made a couple of notes um, last night and very kindly yeah, typed them up. I don't know what's next. What's next? Okay, a couple yeah. of things that okay. were uh, in there. Do we 
need to, or what actually do we get benefit from? Because we don't know the answers to this, yeah, but these are things we need to start thinking about. Do we need to register as a cycling club? Can we actually get some benefit from that? So it's something we need to think about. And also, we get to the venue, we've got all these bikes, what on earth are we going to do with them? I'm sure there's a whole um, solution to that. I was going to say, there's, there's probably a pretty bar, a big bike park outside of, of a conference centre. Yeah. Well. yeah, but don't they They're always have crap bikes that they leave around a lot? What you say, we should just leave the bikes <laughs> No, I'm saying that, that's the normal Dutch solution to what they do with the bikes, they just leave them. And they don't often do anything with them, there'll be a million bikes, but because they're all crap, no one's doing anything. Yeah. We all set up on more expensive bikes. Well, funny enough, I don't know if you know, but the, um, I learned this through Bert, Bert Ulland, is that the venue of the Drupalcon is the Rye, and the Rye started as a bicycle kind of showcase event, and then it turned into cars and all sorts, now it's in all sorts of things, but it's quite interesting, maybe we can, I don't know, find a place there. Still yep, place. Bradley Wiggins is a keynote speaker. And you can come with us. Well, Paul Johnson, um, he, I was talking to him last night, and he said, if you start in Manchester at the Velodrome, I'm sure you can get a lot of interest. Uh, well, to, because all the pros, they cycle, they uh, train there. So that's a good idea. It's a very, I mean, I've, I've done this kind of thing before, and basically you do need a van, because you've got all the, all, all the stuff you need to get there. Yeah. But then you can use a van to put the bicycles in, depending on the numbers you're doing. Good point, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Is um, I know Chris, you've done a similar thing. Um, obviously, Steve. Is there anybody else that has done a similar thing or an organised cycle ride or something similar? I've done uh, motorbike rides, which is very similar. And then you get your. Where's it gone? Where's what gone? No, that's right. So you basically set out routes, and then at the end of the day, you stop at a B and B or a hotel, and then you have, um, well, in our case, um, security for the bikes and things like that. But I guess it's similar to bicycling because we want to kind of have the bike against the next thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if there's anything, anybody who wants to share anything, I don't know, Steve or Chris or anybody. Would you be listed? Yeah. Would you need people like to volunteer to help? Well, yeah, but, yeah, very likely. Yeah. Are you volunteering? Yeah. <laughs> Write your name down. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I think one of the first things that we really kind of need to do is keep the interest going. Uh, Stefan set up Total Drupal, which is really good, and uh, get some activity around that. And that's how we can see people who want to be a volunteer and kind of help us get things going, yeah. which would be really good. Also, getting an idea of locations that you're likely to find, I don't, I don't know where you are. So. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, is there a map coming up? This is the ferry phase. We're all on the boat at this point. <laughs> if it gets like that, we've got trouble. <laughs> I was hoping that it would. Uh, Chris, would you like to share it uh, about your? Um, um, your journey, because you all share with the group. Can. So I did this in 2009 to Bridge Paris. I was originally going to go with um, John, um, his surname I've forgotten, called out the last minute. So I ended up going on my own. And I, um, so I had um, a buddy, uh, Dan, took a suitcase for me, and I, I went on that bike with a, like, a little bag on the front about so big full of Jaffa cakes and maps. And, Passports and all those, and um, if that sounds terrifying, it, I want to tell you it was it was really fun to do. Um, the only thing um, that wasn't so much fun is that I was doing it on my own in the end. Uh, it would be much more fun to do it with people. I think if there's a big group, one thing I would say is I think if there's a big group, I do like the idea of having a van because um, you've got you've got backup. You know, if someone needs to take a rest, they can jump in the van. Um, and it just solves the whole problem of finding good willing friends who are able to take a suitcase for you. Um, you know, we can have the suitcases in there and you know, room for two or three people on their bikes if they need to take it. So I, I, I like the idea of a support vehicle. And I think if you've got a big group on the road with a van behind it, it gives, offers some protection. Depending on the number of people, you 
numbers, you might need more than one. Because yeah. I've done the van support thing, and you'd be surprised how how much stuff you'd want to put in there, especially if you have a large group, like just yeah. water in general, because you, you need to have tons of stuff like that, and like a lot of that stuff would take up a lot of room. So depending on numbers, you might need more than one van. In the tubes. But yeah. I mean, you need to have a van for the van racing as well. Because mm -hmm. if you want to race vans, you can put logos yeah. on the van. Yeah. So I wanted to get an idea of generally where those that might be interested would come from. North Shields, clearly. Uh, <laughs> That's an easy ride. <laughs> so I made a, a Google map, which is what this is. I'm not going to try and click on it again because it clearly didn't work last time. Um, and it's just a Google map, which you should have edit permissions for, just by going to it, anyone should have any permissions, so if you just want to drop a, a, a marker on there, then I'll get it back up on the screen here in a moment, and we'll kind of play around with it and, and, and see what's happening. We've got a couple of ideas about locations to start, but uh, lar largely, we really want it to be driven by you. Uh, we kind of got an idea that it might be nice to start at one of the velodromes, either Edinburgh, Manchester or London. Manchester Velodrome. Manchester where I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's okay then. Um, because, <coughs> well, for example, the Manchester one, yeah, if we could get, go in and see the uh, British team training before we set off, I think that'd be enjoying them. It, well, <laughs> <laughs> well I, well, it's one of the right. things I actually want to have a go at is on a velodrome. I've always wanted to do it. Actually. I want to be the guy on the motorbike. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've just got my motorbike license the other week, so I just kind of ruined I'm waiting to buy my first motorbike, and it's probably scary. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely do that too. <laughs> um, so please feel free to add to that map uh, a location, and then we'll see what, how we can adopt that into a website as well. Uh, when we've actually get it there is there. well, there is a website already, <coughs> which I kind of put together quickly. Um, it's tourthedrupal.drupalgardens.com. Uh, it doesn't have a lot on it. I won't show it, but it doesn't have a lot of it on it, apart from the register your interest form, uh, which has been very useful. <coughs> anybody of you in here hasn't registered, but would like to register or have has ideas, please um, let us know. And it's the home page of this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the home page of the register. So if you go to that on Twitter, the home page that's registered on that is the site that you can currently go on. Yeah. Have you spoken to anyone at the um, Drupal Association about getting on the Amsterdam site? It, well, at the mo these are all the things that we want to do, but we, <laughs> we haven't yet. <laughs> but speed absolutely. Of, speed of step or someone uh, yeah. put a page up. Yeah, it would be a really... Yeah, well, come on. I mean, I know, birth, I know birth, birth is very, uh, very up for it. Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, great. So we just... Well, we so just come over to Manchester and take one of these. We just think there's something kind of useful in this. And it'll be fun. I like doing stuff that's just a bit kind of not the same every year. I like doing something different. Um, so we think it'd be kind of a yeah. fun thing to do. Yeah, definitely. Uh, please feel free to add a marker, giving us an idea of where you are. That would be really useful. Uh, if we went from Manchester, we'd probably cycle away from Manchester for a day for how far we got, then probably train it for a bit, yeah. then probably bike a bit. Then onto the ferry, then bike on the other side. We don't want to make this into something that we don't really want. Well, I, I want to go through the Pennines, but I don't think everyone will. Uh, <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is knowing after Drupal how I feel at the end of a DrupalCon. I'm not going to want to cycle back. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's then, an option. But maybe the, the van takes the bikes like, back somewhere. Ah, yeah, okay, or maybe, cool. yeah. I was thinking maybe. There must be uh, opportunities to, to rent the bikes over there. Yeah, yeah, there we are. Get, we, we get over with our ride and we get rid of the bikes and we don't need to yeah, you can. care about that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's only four and a half, did you say four and a half hours? Yeah. So it's not actually a long bike ride once you get there, even for a broken old man like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but things like that, I mean, bike, ride, bike rental is, um, you can rent bikes basically everywhere. For it, but, I mean, that would be good to have on site. Including electric ones, actually. Oh, God. that doesn't run. <laughs> yeah. That's not a real bike. That's cheating. <laughs> I want to. That's a good cheater. <laughs> <laughs> That's a segue, isn't it? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Amsterdam Segway Challenge. 500 troopless going down the road on Segways. It's brilliant. You can see it now. Yeah. I don't know if we need to define bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Not just two wheels. Yeah. <laughs> One in front of another. If anyone wants to borrow my unicycle, they're more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Please Can't take it. it away before my hands. <laughs> um, but that's largely what we're thinking. Uh, yeah. Go put a marker on the web, on on the, map. the Google map. So go to here. Where's follow. The Pardon? Where is the Google map? Bit bit doc, bit 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 bit. Bit. No, it's just Tor Drupal, not Tor Drupal. Ah, right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it should take you to a Google map. Um, if it comes up with my user account, I apologise. Just go to uh, Belgium and then like do do a, a Drupal tourist trip of like, and this is where Dries was born. <laughs> <laughs> and, this is where, and this is where he went to school. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? There's people that probably do that and be really fascinated. That's the weird thing. Well, if you go via Dover, then we can do that. Yeah. Dover Calais or Dover. It depends how you know. <laughs> it, it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but really, it's just kind of, we're doing this session at the last minute, we don't know all the answers, we're looking to you to show interest and help <laughs> us think that you like what you're doing um, It's worth finding out, and to help us find out those answers, and then actually come along and ride, because frankly, it will just be a laugh. Yeah? Agreed. Okay. And we're cycling today as well, that's the plan. Oh yeah, I never forgot that. We're going to go for a quick ride and when? Um, well, either lunchtime or maybe um, at three o'clock. I don't know. I'm a bit worried about three because it's going to start to get dark. Well, lunchtime. Dark. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll do it at lunchtime. Then. Sorry, you got lights. So now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, come along, enjoy yourself, well, go follow your that, and we'll get stuck in. Uh, any questions? We don't need to ask that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been tied up. I'm definitely not. Actually. <laughs> oh well, thank you very much. Yeah, Thanks for coming along. We hope to see you following. We will look forward to seeing you all raring and fit in September. <laughs> there is a Twitter account. Is that for the previous Twitter Drupal? Is that for yours? No, this one. This, this, okay. this is new. Yeah. And future yeah. ones. <laughs> yes. So if you do it in China, you have to go to Rakshaw, whatever they're called, Rickshaw. Follow, Rickshaw. tweet, retweet, get people interested. That's what we need. Yeah, please do. Yeah. Well, let's hope the next one isn't involved in anything. <laughs> <laughs> I did have the, other, the, idea, the idea last night, didn't I? I said, oh, we could go from one, the previous years, to the yeah. issues, and yeah. oh, then you had, you do know how far Prague is to Amsterdam, and I was like, oh yeah. You could do, do the, like that other guy and do Austin to yeah. Amsterdam, that's, that's impressive. It is, it, that is amazing actually, if he does it, that would be fantastic. That's quite funny because that, uh, the person that responded for, uh, from Austin, responded, so, oh, this is really cool, I want to, I want to join, how do I join? And then I think she thought about it, well, that's actually quite far. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe just cycle to Drupal, uh, Drupal Austin instead. <laughs> I don't know. You get like an exercise bike on the plane. <laughs> you fly over cycling. Yeah. How are we doing for time? I think we're doing really well actually. It's um, 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, first for lunch, first for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, when do we go for a quick bike ride? We might go around to the Velodrome. Yeah. After we've had something to eat. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Brought my bike, so. Yeah, probably in the car, beeping the horn. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know the way. <laughs> Don't know the way. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> comes. Oh, uh, you do know City of Plane today, don't you? Uh oh, don't do that. Is that a problem? It, is, it will be busy. It's it's very busy. Playing, yeah. Manchester City Stadium is right next door to the Velodrome. Ah. Oh. But then it's cycling, so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. No. Don't just sweep me. This morning, we'll <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you very, thank you very much.
did not go well. So we've got to do it now. Yeah. Now it's official now. We've got a Twitter account. It's all official. We've got a lot of